Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Step Step, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video that I haven't done in a long time, and that is a complete master set video. This set being Pokemon Go from the Sword and Shield era, and I'll probably have a list of all the sets that I've completed this year, and my one of my goals this year is to complete 10 sets. So I'm getting closer and closer. The year is getting close to ending too, so I gotta maybe hurry it up a little bit. But Pokemon Go was released on July 1st of 2022 in English, and there are 78 cards plus 10 secret rares to make 88 cards. And then I added on three extras, which I'm sure a lot of people added on because of the dittos, but you'll see those in the individual cards for the set. So let's get up from down here, or let's get down from up here. So starting out with the Bulbasaur, which I love Bulbasaur. Probably still my favorite starter of all time. And we have the Venusaur with that loopy lasso. And the Radiant Venusaur can be decent with that Sunny Bloom. I tried to make a few decks with the Alolan Executor V, but anything that involves a coin flip without a coin flip, you know, stadium or something to redo coin flips is kind of difficult. And we have the Ariados and the Charmander. What is the most optimal Charmander? I don't think the Pokemon Go Charmander is the most optimal, but you let me know. Charizard with the Burn Brightly doubles all the fire energy as on the board, which can be pretty useful. Radiant Charizard, really good Radiant card for cleaning up the game at the very end. Easy one shots, and then you'll hear you'll see an example of me with the three cards because this right here you can see is the peelable ditto card because of the ditto indicator in the bottom left. So there are three numals, which I do like the numal artwork there, it's very cute and wholesome. Got the squirtles, gotta love the squirtles and the war turtles. This is a very manageable set at its size. So if you're wanting to complete a set that's modern and still easily accessible, got the radiant blastoise. I feel like that pump shot would be good with, you know, the Masqueradas or the Inteleon VMAXs, but you want to have Alakazam in those decks to be able to move damage counters or, around. Got Slowbro with uh, the Twilight Inspiration, which can be pretty good in those Zoro box decks. I've seen those a lot. And this Gyarados, one of my favorite hollow artworks in this set, just looks amazing. And we have the Lapras, or the Lapras, the Articuno. Gotta love the legendary birds. Wimpod, feel like doesn't have very many cards. Golisopod. Got the Pikachu. Got some cute Pikachus in this set, including this one with the hat. I love that artwork so much. Got the Zapdos. A lot of people have been running it in the Maridon decks to have an attacker that can get through Mimikyu EX. And um, having basic electric Pokemon do 10 more damage can sometimes give perfect numbers. Mewtwo V-Star, haven't seen used as often. It was a lot of times used in the Lunatone decks, speaking of Lunatone. And we have the Sylveon, which is beautiful. I feel like Sylveon always gets good artworks. Got the Onyx, the Larvitar, Eaton Mountains, got the Pupitar, and we have that Soul Rock with that Sun Energy. Rest in peace, Scoop Up Net, I guess. We got randomly, we have Conkle Derby in this set. But Conkledor is good in Pokemon Go, so I think that's one of the reasons why it was included. You got the Tyranitar with such a menacing artwork. Like that that artwork just really exemplifies Tyranitar's character, which is nice. Got Meltan, a, definitely a Pokemon Go exclusive Pokemon, because the only way to get Melmetal was to get a bunch of Meltan candies. So that was like the only reason I grinded Pokemon Go is so I could get my Melmetal. Got Dragonite V. Love this artwork by Drag for Dragonite V and the V-Star, and we have all those cute Chansey sleeping, and the Blissey, another really good Pokemon of Pokemon Go, specifically for holding down those gyms, because they can just take hits. And there's that Ditto that you'd peel, and there is no Reverse Hollow for it, so that's why it's only the one. You got the Eevee sitting on the couch, kind of an artwork, art, awkward artwork. Snorlax, I know in the most recent 151 set, Snorlax had a blocking um, artwork. Shout out to Fofenna. But yeah, a lot of people use that blocking Snorlax if you don't have Switch cards and you're just kind of out of luck. Slaking, seen some people use Slaking with Path to the Peak, maybe even even some Lugia decks. can be interesting. Got Bidoof, another Ditto featured Pokemon. I think I might have skipped the other Ditto featured Pokemon, but oh well. Got Pidove, Tranquil, the Generation 5 Birdline. And Unfezant. I just always like saying Unfezant. Got Blanche, Candela, or Candela. None of these item cards are super amazing. 
None of those trainers. Pokestop can be useful for decks that have a lot of items cards, like Lost Box. Got Rare Candy. I do like this Rare Candy artwork. I do like the Rare Candy from Pokemon Go. It's kind of cool. I haven't played Pokemon Go in probably like a year and a half, two years now. And then we go right into the Full Arts. I thought this would be the number one chase card in the set, but I guess it's fairly easy to pull because there's only a couple alternate arts within the set. So if you get an alternate art pool, you're going to get that or the Conkledur. At least I'm pretty sure there's only two. I guess I'll find out when I flip the page. Yeah, those are the only two. Dragonite V, love this full art. A lot of these full arts are very affordable. I don't think the Dragonite is like a couple bucks, but a lot of them are very cheap. Professor's Research, always useful. This is the most expensive card in the set, the Mew 2 V Star. Very beautiful. If I would have pulled it, I probably would get it graded, but I just bought it as a single. So it's going right nicely in this binder. We got these rainbow trainers, which have been phased out of Scarlet and Violet. So let me know if you're hurt by that. Got the golden Mew TV star. I thought this would be the number one too, but there's only three gold cards. So if you get a gold slot, you pretty much have a 30% chance compared to like the rainbow Mew two, where there's a lot more rainbows. And then I have one random. I didn't open up a ton of Pokemon Go sealed products. But this is like a Cosmos Holofall exclusive, I think, from one of the tins. So you could get those exclusives from the tins. All right, and like in all my previous videos, I'll do the big flips going back just so you can kind of see the full set. It easily fits in a 360-card binder. I don't have the exact number of cards, but it definitely fits in a 360-card binder if you lay out all the reverse hollows and non-hollows separately. Once again, really great set to complete. I don't even think the most expensive card is over $50, so a really affordable set as well. And if you open up a few Pokemon Go products, like you'll get a good chunk of these and then filling in the, the gaps isn't too difficult. So um, yeah, overall great set. And somebody actually requested this video. So that's why this video is coming out sooner than maybe some of my openings. And they also requested that I include some of the Pokemon Go promos. So I will show off all the promos that I have from Pokemon Go. And it looks like it starts right here with this Mewtwo, the Mel Metal, the Elolian Executor V, this came in a box, and these came in the V Battle decks, I believe. This was like a, a box on its own. And then these all had their own special box as well for each of the trainers. I love these full art trainers, by the way. Like, all the colors, they, they're just beautiful. This is in the Elite Trainer box. Special Premium Collection. And then these were in some pin collections, I believe. And then this Pikachu, I think, came in with the tins. Like, it came with this and a Cosmos Holofall exclusive. This came with those uh, Dragonite Collectors V. Came with the Premier Ball, basically. And those are all the Pokemon Go promos that I have. They're usually all lumped together by set, so I don't think there's any other ones that are loose. If there are any other loose promos that I'm missing, I know there's like the Cosmos Holofoil and like other deck exclusive cards, but I just got the numbered promos and then everything that you could pull out of packs. So let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if I'm missing anything. Um, let me know if you're working on any sets or if you've recently completed a set. I'm always down to talk about that down below. And yeah, I just want to, whatever your collecting goals are, uh, I just want to achieve them together. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought and I'll catch y'all in the next one.